Good morning. This is Lou Vanderwig, pastor of the Goodland United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining me in this Christian devotion for Tuesday, March the 31st, 2015, as part of the Good Neighbor Hour. Mark 11, verses 15 through 19 says, Then they came to Jerusalem, and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves, and he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. He was teaching and saying, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations? But you have made it a den of robbers. And when the chief priests and the scribes heard it, they kept looking for a way to kill him, for they were afraid of him, because the whole crowd was spellbound by his teaching. And when evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. The cleansing of the temple was Jesus' way of identifying the corruption of the religious system. Practice had become focused on the system for the system's sake rather than on the needs of the people for which God created the system in the first place. It seems the church had become a place of business and the business was no longer God's business. What is God's business? God's business is the salvation of human souls. God's business is producing transformed lives and ultimately a transformed world. There is a story about a man who took his family on vacation to visit a village famous for making excellent shoes. When the family arrived at the village, it was evident that shoes were famous here. At the entrance to the village, there was a gigantic bronze statue of a shoe. Everyone, every home in the village displayed a flag representing the famous shoe factory that was located in the center of the village square. The factory was well kept inside and out, and the pride of the community was evident as everyone talked excitedly about shoes. The family parked the car and entered the factory for a grand tour. Throughout the factory were numerous booths distributing literature about shoemaking, and many pictures were displayed of the factory from its inception many years past up to its current fame as a tribute to excellent shoemaking. As the family progressed on the tour, something strange became apparent. Everyone they encountered since entering the village was wearing a simple flip-flop instead of the excellent shoes that made the village famous. When the family asked if they might see the production line for the shoes, they were very re surprised by the response. We don't make shoes here anymore, said the tour guide. We are much too busy being famous for the excellent shoes we used to produce. Besides, it takes way too much time keeping everything in order to actually make shoes anymore. Is that why no one here wears shoes anymore? asked the man. Yes, said the tour guide. It gets kind of cold in the winter time, but we see it is a small price to pay for the profitable tourist industry that our fame has created. This is a ridiculous story, isn't it? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this holy week, make new in us your will for our lives and for the lives of the people of this world. Renew our hearts, renew our church. Make real for us the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, the Savior of the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On behalf of the Goodland United Methodist Church, this is Pastor Lou Vanderwig wishing you a good day filled with the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.